All right, so for this next project, we are going to be incorporating math into our art. We are going to be making peacocks with fractions. It's just a good reminder of how fractions work with the num numerator and the denominator on them. But to start off, what we're going to need is we're going to need 10 circles, all right? Now, you can use anything around the house that has a circular bottom, like a cup, tiny little Tupperware, and in my case, I found a foamy that is the perfect size that I wanted. So trace out 10 circles, and from those 10 circles, I want one fifth to be one color. It doesn't have to be green. It can be another color. Another one fifth to be a second color. And the last three fifths of your circles to be another color, a third color. All right, so once you have those, I want you to gently cut them each. Well, before we do that, let's divide ours first. All right, these first two, I want you to divide them into one half each. So two parts, line drawn right down the middle. I better do that with something a little darker. Line drawn right down the middle for you to cut on for both of them. These are going to be our one halves. Next, for our uh, second set, we are going to divide them into one fourths. So just do a plus sign in the middle. To divide them into four pieces each. And for these last sets, we are going to divide them into eighths. So start with a plus sign and then put a diagonal through each side. Think of a pizza, think of a pizza. Now it's divided into eight slices. All right, and we're going to have eighths with that one. So continue and do that to each of your um, circles of your third set. Fun fact about peacocks, they are the national bird of India because that's where they're native to. Ours is the bald eagle, theirs is the peacock. And males' tails can lay up to three pounds and be six feet long, which I think is quite amazing for a bird. And they are still able to fly with that extra weight and long train on them. Pea hens, not so much. Females do not get um, the big long tails like the males do. All right, so go ahead and divide your third set into eighths, and we're going to gently cut these out and then cut along the lines to cut them into pieces. We'll see you in the next video.